We all know that there are plenty of PS4, Xbox, and even controller players that play on PC. And if you're one of these many, you also know that Final Fantasy does a rather poor job of teaching us on how to set up, work, and optimize our controller settings. As someone who has plenty of experience on this topic and plenty of videos that go into depth on showing you how to do this with controller, I feel like I can lend a pretty solid argument as to what the best job would be for controller players to start with. In my long history of Final Fantasy XIV, this only leads to one job currently. That being said, jobs do get updates and rework, so this could change, but for leading into 2024, Summoner has to be the easiest job to play on controller. Summoner's rework for Endwalker has put this at the least amount of inputs, decreased button bloat for cross hotbar space, and a simpler rotation for many players. Final Fantasy is the type of game where you can play any job with just one character, but some people rather prefer to play a job that's easiest on controller. I also say cross hotbar space because some of you silly gooses are still only using one cross hotbar, which is absolutely effing insane. 99% of these jobs will require both cross hotbars to be used later down the road. Summoner has a relatively easy rotation of phases, which is burst phase, go through your three summons, burst phase again, go back through your three summons. I have enlarged my cross hotbar and turned off all of my visuals just to show you what I mean. As you can tell, all the abilities just basically replace each other as I go through my rotation. The reason Summoner takes this top spot is merely because of this replacement mechanic of abilities that Final Fantasy XIV has recently been applying to more jobs. When skills level up past a certain point, they just simply replace an ability on your cross hotbar rather than becoming an entirely new button to press. Summoner is the number one prime example of this since all your summons, no matter your regular summons or burst phase summons, literally just share two abilities, Gem Shine and Astral Flow. These are replaced depending on what phase you're in, and it does wonders for minimizing button bloat. Unfortunately, this seems only related to summoners since not many other jobs have similar job mechanics. Because of this particular job mechanic, this Final Fantasy job is the number one choice I recommend for controller players starting off in 2024. There is a relative ease to the job, but I wouldn't say it's boring by any means. Nothing brings me more joy than being able to summon Bahama or Phoenix for big damage or having amazing mobility 85% through my rotation since they are mostly instant casts. You can do damage with relative ease, which takes the stress off of having to worry about a rotation and focusing more on mechanics and just game enjoyment overall. Playing on controller is far easier on the hands for me and many others, which is why I play on controller even though I do play on a PC. If you want help setting up your controller settings, setting up your cross hotbars, or even looking for job specific cross hotbar setups, you can find all of those in my controller playlist in my description or on my channel page. I want to thank all of my Patreons, Discord supporters, and YouTube supporters for the epic support for your monthly donations really keep this channel running. You'll have to excuse my voice for this video, I recently have had bronchitis for a week or two weeks and got the stomach flu at the same time, so I'm going out of 2023 with a bang. I wish you all a happy 2024 and let's ride into Dawn Trail together. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and tutorials, then you can click here.